can Christians go to heaven if they die unconfessing not confessing certain sin or forgetting to confess certain sins I believe yes and this is why the Bible says Christ has forgiven us of all sin can somebody say all the original word for all includes past present and future think about it all of your sins your future sins your past sins all of them were at the moment of his death were your future sins when Jesus was dying you haven't committed any of them yet on the cross he paid for all of your sins all of your sins were future sins I believe when you're born again your sins are paid for present past and future Christ doesn't come down on the earth next time you sin he's like oh shoot I forgot that one in fact you didn't even exist when he was paying for your sin he paid for all of your sin when you are forgiven in Christ you are forgiven those sins are already covered by the blood the future sins you're yet to commit so you may say then why do we confess our sin first of all you're not saved by your confession you saved by Christ you don't see it in the Bible what it says if you confess your sin you will be saved it says if you confess Jesus as Lord you will be saved our confession doesn't save us Jesus saves us our faith doesn't save us Jesus saves us sinners prayer doesn't save us Jesus saves us even your repentance doesn't save you Jesus died on a cross now repentance so we have to go back to Jesus we have to go back to the cross please understand I believe in confessing sins but I don't believe it's so that I don't lose my salvation it's so that I stay close to Jesus I've been married to my wife for 10 years 10 years ago on this altar I said I do since that day do you know how many times I said I'm sorry a lot I'm gonna probably say I'm sorry today you know how many times I'm gonna say I'm sorry in the next 20 30 years a lot do you know why I say I'm sorry not so that I undo I do I don't say I'm sorry and then go back and get married to her again my I'm sorry is to keep closeness it's not to keep the covenant I do created a covenant on which today I say I'm sorry so I can stay close within the covenant I already have my I'm sorry does not get me my covenant back my my sorry keeps me intimacy but my I do gave me relationship you have a relationship with Jesus you have a relationship with God when you got saved when you place your trust in Jesus by grace you were saved through faith can somebody say amen and then you confess your sin not so that you get your salvation back so you get your intimacy back so you get your joy back so you get your peace back so you will grow closer to God with whom he is your father That's why 1 John 1 9 it says if we confess our sin he's faithful and true to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us meaning God says if you come saying I'm sorry God's like ah, I'm gonna cover you I'm gonna cleanse you I'm gonna forgive you please understand I do that almost every few days with my wife the more I'm sorry as long as I mean it and follow up with a little action a lot of action and uh, my relationship gets closer but it's not so that I don't lose my marriage so I don't lose my fire so I don't lose my closeness it has nothing to do with the covenant it all has to do with the closeness that's why Christians repent the Bible says so we can be healed so we can be restored Jesus washes the disciples of his feet and he says I don't wash your feet because you're not clean he says all of you are clean except one referring to Judas he says a clean man only needs to wash his feet He's speaking spiritually. He says a man who is cleansed by already Jesus only needs to forgive, you know, forgive